Before rendering this image, there's a few things that I want to adjust. Uh, if you look at the ground plane, the scale is too big and the bump map is uh, way too prominent. And actually, I think it's in the wrong direction. And then I think that the lighting could be a bit brighter in general. And also, I think this is too uh, warm looking at the light coming from the left here. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's start with the ground plane. Double click on that. Go to uh, textures and select the diffuse map and go to the scaling and let's see if we back it down to three. I think it looks, uh, yeah, looks way better. Maybe three and a half. Great. And yeah, the bomb map has been automatically updated and let's go into the material graph and yeah, because we use the same texture for the roughness, then uh, it has been, sorry, it has been updated as well. Great. Let's uh, zoom in on the bump map over here. And go to the bump and let's go to uh, the bump height. And what if we type in negative 0.2 instead? Yes, looks way better. Uh, let's have a look around here. Should we use 0.3? The trick here is to, to have it visible, but without being too prominent. I think uh, I'll go with 0 0.25, negative 0 0.25 for that one. But again, it might be too much if we look down here. Let's go with negative 0.2. Great. Um, then I would like the depth of field to be a bit stronger actually. So I'll open up the camera and uh, go to uh, the f-stop number. Let me hide or oh, move this up so you can see it for my head. Let's make this one eight. So remember, a lower number gives a stronger depth of field. Great. And if you experience that your lighting uh, got back to the uh, to the old one after doing this one, that's because when you have uh, adjusted or added a new HDRI, because we have saved it as a view set, you have to remember to save it afterwards. So if you have lost it, then um, go to the environments tab and locate it. Uh, resource folder and I uh, saved it in the MISC. So select it here, hit open. And when you have to open it again, go to the camera tab and remember to hit the save button. Then you should be all set. Then I want to change the, uh, the color of the pin that gives the light from this side and also make everything a bit brighter. So I go to the environment tab, open up the HDRI, HDRI editor, um, select this pin and um, think that actually I want to take the radius down a bit like so. And then I want to adjust the brightness as well, make it a bit brighter and select this pin. Oops. Pin number two, go to the uh, brightness, make it brighter and take some of the color out of it. I think this is, uh, this is way better. Great. Save it and close it down. And also go to the camera and hit save just for the for the sake of, of not doing anything unintended. And um, then actually I want to adjust the camera angle a bit as well because I have this area where these three lines are sort of meeting in, in one point. Um, I don't like that at all. So I'll open up the camera and rotate it just a bit. Um, 
And sometimes when you are saved at an HDRI, then the, the view freezes. But if you hit Shift P to pause the, the view and Shift P again to uh, unpause, then it uh, gets live again. So here I want to go to the performance mode to make these changes uh, a bit quicker. And um, let me see. So now this one stops here and this one goes down and stop here. So we don't have this converging point. That's way better. Look for any other accidents that might have happened while we did this new adjustment, but it looks really great, I think. So I go back to the normal view and uh, save this uh, camera and log it down. Maybe before doing that, going into the brightness and bump up the general brightness just slightly, maybe adding some contrast to the lighting. And when you do that, you have to take the brightness down. Ah, let's stick with a contrast of one and a brightness of 1.3. You can always adjust the brightness in post. Awesome. Last thing I want to do is to uh, adjust the color of this uh, glass. I think it's too blue right now. And I want to have it a bit more green. So I'll turn up the thickness and it also gives us a bit more of a uh, of gradient in that color. So I think I'll go with this. And I just noticed that I actually think that the bump map on the ground play is way too much still. If we especially look down here. Yeah, it's way too much. So double click on the material and go to the to the bump map. And adjust it. Great. Negative point one will do. What about the roughness? Looks good. Great. Then uh, maybe I want to move it up just a bit by holding down the scroll wheel and dragging. Like so. Let's stop it here. Uh, yeah. Save and lock. And now we are ready to output this.